Hello and welcome to Game Fan Webpages Extras Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing the iPod Nano. I am pretty sure it's the first generation. Um, it has no motion detection in it, no cover flow. It's pretty standard. I do like the scrolling pad, like I mentioned in the last video I did, the iPod Nano Chromatic. This pad on there dries out, dries out your finger and starts to hurt, and it sometimes doesn't respond. This one, very responsive. It doesn't make your finger hurt at all. It's even, I think, a little bit bigger. Let's compare. Let's see them both. I think the one, it's a, not as easy to see the one on the um, iPod generation for, I mean, iPod first generation one because it's all black where the orange one has orange and then white. But I'm pretty sure that the iPod Nano first generation has a slightly bigger pad and smaller screen. Um, it is a lot thinner. Here, I'll take off the case on my iPod Nano 4th generation. It's difficult to get off here. It's a very tight fit. That's why it's really hard to get off. There we go. And, and it's hard to get on, too. There we go. Okay. So, obviously, the thickness is a lot different yeah it's about probably not a lot not a lot different but it is noticeable it's about I'd say about two millimeters or three millimeters thicker um you have the hold button on the top on the top there right there and same with the iPod Nano fourth generation and same spot it's a little bit different of a button it's round instead of oval or rectangular um, and same as the iPod Nano 4th generation, it has its port right here and the headphone jack. Um, the battery does last a lot longer on these than the chromatic. Um, and yeah, it has a silver backing, I'm pretty sure this was only on the limited edition ones. So yeah, um, that's it for my review, and I hope you see my next ones.